Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul. I am a master teacher certified by the Tao Academy, Tao Institute. And I'm very honored to be connecting with you today. <clears throat> it's been a couple of weeks since I've been able to connect. I've been in a retreat with Dr. and Master Shah, my spiritual teacher. And uh, it has been extraordinary and powerful. And today is one of the first days I've had a chance to reconnect with all of you. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be uh, to be back and to serve you. <clears throat> We're going to be focusing on um, the power of forgiveness. And I received this guidance just a few days ago that this is a really important subject to work on a bit. And so I look forward to being able to go into the deeper aspects of this, um, bringing it to the surface a bit more, if you will. <clears throat> this last two weeks has been nothing short of astounding, nothing short of amazing. Uh, you know, for those of you who are familiar with the, the wisdom and teachings that has been shared on this live stream the last three years, then you would know that my teacher, his name is Master Shaw. And all the wisdom that is shared is certainly not mine. It's wisdom that he has brought to humanity to assist all of us to further develop um, and awaken. Develop what? Develop uh, you know, an emotional intelligence. Develop spiritual intelligence. You know, Find ways to apply spiritual wisdom in our common everyday life in such a way where we stop suffering. That's... The kind of wisdom that he has brought to us and I've been honored to be a certified master teacher to be able to deliver this wisdom to you <clears throat> and coming up on three years here actually May 17 will be uh, the third year that um, I have been doing these live streams here on Facebook <clears throat> and the reason I know that date is because Kristen Rojas who won't be able to join us today I think she's uh, flying right now uh, she's been uh, very important in getting this information out there and she reminded me of that initiation date <clears throat> so let's pause for a moment and welcome all those who have joined us so welcome uh, Coral welcome Jen welcome Barbara welcome Bonnie uh, Aloha Carol welcome Diana Victoria good to see you out here in Hawaii welcome Nola <clears throat> welcome also to uh, Cora Sa Jen uh, welcome Dan Aloha Susan Birchmore Welcome also Tatiana, Shirley Martin, Jenny Danielle, Aloha. Thank you all for joining. <clears throat> if I missed your name, I'll come back around to it. But um, thank you so much for joining today. We're going to be focusing on the power of forgiveness today. Uh, I haven't talked directly on this subject for a while. I believe it's very, very important. Yesterday I did a, <coughs> excuse me, a radio interview. And I don't do too many of those, but it was um, it was interesting because the you know there's only 30 minutes, and the woman uh, had uh, that was interviewing me had a, um, a series of questions that she wanted to power through, and so I was unable to answer with any degree of length or any degree of value to her listening audience. <clears throat> so I had to you know really tune in as to what would be the most significant ways to impact people in their lives and uh, it came boiled down to uh, forgiveness and gratitude and so we'll do gratitude on another day today I wanted to focus on this so welcome Penny welcome also Tracy Perriman and thank you all for clicking on the share button letting other people know about this live stream it would be greatly appreciated I'm sure others can uh, can benefit from the value of a deeper understanding of the power and the significance of a deep forgiveness practice so let's go ahead and connect as I always do with the live streams We'll place our hands either in prayer position or soul light soul service hand position Which is when we drop the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand remains pointed in the prayer position Either way is perfect whatever is comfortable for you And this is a, a, a way in which we can connect heart to heart soul to soul with the divine with the source So dear the divine dear the source Dear all the beings of light, serving the plan of the light side. <clears throat> all the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascendant masters, all the gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, buddhas, bodhisattvas. We love you, we honor you, we appreciate you, we thank you, and we invite you to join us today. Thank you. We're extremely grateful for all that you do for us. 
mostly unseen we cannot thank you enough for your blessings your presence your love your support and so much more <clears throat> we ask forgiveness first forgiveness for the day for this and any time that we may have been unaware of all that you do for us that we may have made mistakes not um, paid attention to your desire to serve us and did what we should not have done anyway please forgive us for our arrogance our ignorance and our ego those times when we have not aligned to the ways in which could have best served us <coughs> Dear the soul of the song of love, peace, and harmony. We love you, honor you, appreciate you. We invite you to turn on. And as we chant the song of love, peace, and harmony, we invite all souls that desire to serve the light side to join us, to sing the song of love, peace, and harmony one round to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Welcome Petra, welcome Nurma, <coughs> welcome Olida. So if you know the song, please join in. If you do not, close your eyes, receive the blessings, this is a mantra, and it is a mantra that can open our heart and align us. Let us begin. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula Hali Lula Wo I wash in her ling Wo I swam and lay Only he wrong Her musher shung Shung I ping on a Shong I ping on her she I love my heart and soul I love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony okay so thank you all for joining today so happy to see all of you welcome Rosita Rosetta welcome also Maria such a beautiful day an opportunity to clear blockages today we're going to be focusing on the power and significance of a deep forgiveness practice as opposed to a light false uh, forgiveness practice that doesn't really have any value to it other than uh, our convincing ourselves that we made a difference so what's the difference well maybe not the best example but a representative example and certainly as I gave you this example it's not a slight on any particular belief system but it's a good example <clears throat> in the uh, Catholic uh, belief system you can go into the church and the pastor is has this little uh, box on the side there with the cover and you can go in and say uh, dear uh, pastor please forgive me I have sinned I did this 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 I made these and these and that mistakes and the pastor says you are forgiven my son do ten Hail Marys blah 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 and all is good and sounds great right that's like saying please forgive me I have sinned okay I'm done now I go back and do the same thing I used to do and so this obviously has some some, some big flaws associated with it because a lot of those people that that uh, do these not I don't know how many but I would I would say reasonably speaking about half of those people they go back and do the same things again but they figure it's okay because the pastor said you are forgiven my son do ten Hail Marys and you're good <clears throat> this is a cop-out this is not a, 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 a real way to go about a true depthful forgiveness so the first question is why yes, you know it's a very important question what what why how what is a deep forgiveness why do we need to do deep forgiveness how do we do deep forgiveness I tell you most people do not know the how <clears throat> you might get a lot of ahas with the what's and the why's but when we get to the house you be like oh I missed that entirely 
This is very, very uh, deep wisdom in the get to the hows. Welcome, Damien. Welcome, Kimberly. So let's go with the what is a deep forgiveness. A deep forgiveness is a forgiveness that is very heart connected. One that is said from an authentic space of truth and awareness. I'll repeat. A deep forgiveness is one that is authentic from the heart. That is true and reflective of deep, authentic awareness. Awareness of what? Awareness of why you are asking forgiveness. Awareness of what you're asking forgiveness for. This is a mistake that, that many people make. They don't really know what to ask forgiveness for. They read about it in the books, they read about it in the novels, they read about it in the Bibles, they read about it in the Quran, they read about it in Master Shah books and all these other places, <clears throat> but they don't really know what a deep forgiveness looks like. It starts with an authentic, open heart and a very sincere desire to be released of the suffering. Okay? That's what it starts with. Why do we need to do a deep forgiveness? Uh, this one requires a bit of a bigger answer. Welcome, Lee Barber. Welcome, Jess Christensen. Welcome, Kimberly. Uh, welcome to everyone. If I missed your name, forgive me. I'm very grateful for your presence. Please hit the share button. Let other people know about this. So why do we need to do deep forgiveness? We know what it is. We know it's a deep, authentic, sincere connection. Not topical. Not, oh, please forgive me. And then we go on down the road doing the same old thing. Or please forgive me because I don't like dealing with you like this. So I'll just say forgive me because you're a pain if, you're, if, if, if we don't get through this. You know how you, you have brother-sister relationships or mother-father or husband-wife relationships or any, anyone relationships. And we, just, we just bite the bullet and we ask for forgiveness or offer forgiveness. Uh, sometimes we offer forgiveness but we never talk to them again. Sometimes we ask for forgiveness but we do it because we just don't want to deal with their attitude anymore. These are topical. These are not deep, authentic from your heart sincere forgiveness okay very different <clears throat> why well this is where the rubber hits the road raise your hand show me how many happy faces if everything is wonderful show me sad faces as everything is not so wonderful right most of us have different layers of suffering happening in our life could be physical pain could be relationship pain could be financial pain. These are all forms of suffering. Most of us have these forms of suffering, especially my Facebook audience. <clears throat> uh, if you have the time to watch me, a lot of you have that time because you're at home suffering. You don't have the flexibility to have uh, a high paying job. You might be able to watch me because your time zone is opposite of mine and you're, you're out of work and thank goodness you have some time. But uh, I would say about half my audience they have uh, restrictions in their life, physical, emotional, mental restrictions, that limit their ability <clears throat> to do the things they would like to do. This is different aspects of suffering. And so, why do we do deep forgiveness? The how also explains the why. Why do we do deep forgiveness? Because we want to be rid of our suffering. Well, that's one part of it. But we want others to be rid of theirs say so most of us don't go there we only focus on ourselves forgiveness can be very selfish please forgive me because I don't want to deal with your anger towards me anymore please forgive me because I need your forgiveness so we can get back together again because it's very uncomfortable when we're arguing please forgive me see it sounds very selfish <clears throat> we need to do a deep forgiveness from a very deep, heartfelt place on two sides of the coin, asking forgiveness and offering forgiveness. How many out there have cancer condition? A lot of people know about that. A lot of people have cancer condition. Lots of people have cancer condition. <clears throat> a good chunk of these cancer conditions out there are repressed emotions, repressed anger, repressed uh, feelings, people holding on to stuff because they did not forgive. They did not let go. Certainly not all of them. There's many different reasons for it. <clears throat> you can bring it, you can 
you know, say it's glyphosate, or you can say it's, you know, chemicals in the food, or you can say it's chemicals in the air, or you can say it's anger, you can say it's many things. But spiritually speaking, many, many people hold on to stuff. They don't have healthy expression, a way to release and offer forgiveness, ask for forgiveness. So what happens when we don't offer and ask for forgiveness from a very deep, authentic place? We suffer. Do you like suffering? Is it something you're enjoying? Most of us aren't. That's why we're here watching this. We know there's a need for it. 22 people have arrived. 21 are still here. So that means one person said, ah, I don't need this. The other 21 of you are going, man, I could use some of this. That means you're present, you're aware, and you understand the value, the power, and the significance of a deep uh, forgiveness. So why do we need to offer it? Why do we need to ask for it? I didn't do anything wrong. What, what, I didn't do anything wrong. What do I need to ask for? I'm a good person. I, I swear I didn't do anything. <clears throat> I help people at the soup kitchen. I, I'm nice to all my friends and everybody at the market. Uh, I'm always courteous when I drive. I'm a good person. Well, what do I need to ask forgiveness for? Certainly that applies to the vast majority of you. You're good people. Offer forgiveness. Well, I, I've offered forgiveness. I've offered it to almost everybody except for that ex-boyfriend who cheated on me and then took all my belongings and my dog. Oh, I'm never going to forgive him. Oh, that's just one example, right? <clears throat> and so these are examples of where we hold on to stuff and we don't forgive. We think we forgive because we forgot them. But if we see a picture, right? So this is not authentic. What, why, how? Why do we forgive? So that we can be free, not just in this experience, but so that we can release the suffering. There is a reason you have financial problems. There is a root cause, and the solution is right in front of you, right now. There is a reason you have relationship problems with that person you've been with one year or 20 years. Can it be fixed? Absolutely. It can be fixed in a very short period of time. There is a reason for it. <clears throat> there is a reason for the problems with that coworker or that boss or that other person at work. There's a reason for it. Can it be fixed? Absolutely. In a, just a few short weeks, it can be fixed by applying this wisdom. Any suffering, whether it's a coworker or a boss or a relationship, or finances, or cancer, can be resolved, can be dramatically, positively impacted by applying the power of forgiveness. How? What, why, how? How do we apply deep and authentic forgiveness? <laughs> Let me check in with a few others here. Welcome Kimberly Butler, uh, Jess, Leah. Welcome Erica. Welcome uh, Marianne. <clears throat> welcome also Tone. Uh, welcome Robin Toth, uh, Penny Robinson, Aloha. Welcome Mai Tai, and welcome Mary Smith. If I, for, if I missed your name, forgive me. Thank you for your presence. How do we apply deep forgiveness? Step one. Identify the area of suffering. You might want to write this down. Identify the area of suffering. Is it money? Is it finances? Is it relationship? Is it a coworker? Is it a physical pain? Is it an emotional suffering? Is it all of the above? Could be. <clears throat> These are all areas of suffering. That's step one. Identify the specific area of suffering. Step two. Offer and ask authentic forgiveness. Ask forgiveness first. Well, what do you mean, ask forgiveness? Well, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm the one suffering here. Why do I need to ask forgiveness? Forgiveness is a recognition of responsibility. The uh, radio interview I did yesterday, the lady asked me, what are the steps for people getting back on their spiritual path? I said, step one is responsibility. She says, what do you mean? I said, if we are not conscious, if we are not aware of uh, the suffering in our life and the source of it, 
then we're basically saying everything outside of me is the problem and it's all focused on me it's all causing me problems it's their fault their fault their fault their fault this person's fault that Every, it's not my responsibility it's everybody else's problem and the, and this is the victim role right so step one is responsibility moving into a place of deep forgiveness starts with responsibility ask forgiveness step one identify your suffering step two ask forgiveness so you're saying that I have pain, I have cancer, I have anxiety, I have uh, um, uh, financial problems, I have a relationship issue, and I have to ask forgiveness? I don't get it. The reason you have the suffering, pay attention, because this is where the rubber hits the road. The reason you have suffering in any area of your life is because a negative message that you or your ancestors created at some point in this timeline, it could have been during your life, could have been during your ancestor's life. If you believe in more than one life, could have been during that. But at some point in time, there was a negative experience, a negative message given to others that has come around to remind you. So why do we ask for forgiveness first? Because when we move into the place of responsibility, we say, oh, that's why I'm suffering financially. Duh. Maybe I or my ancestors really screwed people financially. Maybe we really took advantage of people. Maybe we were greedy. I'm not like that now. I'm a good person now. I give money to people on the street now. Why should I ask forgiveness? I'm a good person. You could be in that state of mind. Well, you're going to probably continue to suffer financially until you go into the deeper wisdom. You ask forgiveness because you recognize there's much more than what's happening in your current life. And there's a root cause for it. And that root cause is the history of negative messages that stay with our soul. <clears throat> Think of something positive in your life. Maybe you have a wonderful relationship. Maybe you have excellent health. Maybe you have a wonderful finances. Money is not an issue in your world. Congratulations. You earned it. Everything wonderful in your life. Congratulations. You earned it. The reason it's positive in your life is because you created positive messages in this life and in other times. And your ancestors created positive messages. If you're financially sound, as an example, you and or your ancestors could be a grandfather, da 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 did good things with their financial blessings. They didn't hurt people. They didn't steal from people. They didn't take advantage of people. Maybe they blessed many people with finances. And therefore, you are reaping the benefits. You need to be more grateful. But if something unpleasant is happening, we must take responsibility for that. So forgiveness starts with one, recognition, taking responsibility, looking at the different areas of suffering. Step two, Asking for forgiveness for the mistakes that you and your ancestors have made that has brought that suffering into your world as a reminder. Because you think this stuff happens by accident? You think you're just a fly on the wall here for a little watching, watching the world go by and then you're done after 30, 40, 70 years? No, you're here for a reason. The reason is to grow. How are you going to grow if you don't step into responsibility? How are you going to grow? How are you going to open your heart and return back to the soul of the divine, return back to the heart of your creator, if you do not clear the blockages in your life? Do you think that the path uh, for Buddha was easy? Was the path for Jesus easy? Was the path for Krishna easy? Was the path for any of these great beings who have led the way before us, was any of their paths easy? No. They all had to go through deep forgiveness, deep awareness of the mistakes that they had made. They had to make better choices, take responsibility, and they have. And then they have taught us accordingly. They have given us a, a very clear pathway, but most of us don't apply it in the correct ways. Jesus says, turn the other cheek. What does he mean? He means... I recognize I may have harmed this beautiful soul first. I forgive you. Please forgive me if I have harmed you in any previous time. That's a pure heart of love. That's just a pure example of correct forgiveness, correct forgiveness thinking. 
right? <clears throat> you want to stop your suffering. I promise you that if you do deep, authentic forgiveness every day, what do I do forgiveness for? I go back to it again. Where are you suffering? You ask and offer forgiveness. You ask forgiveness for causing that same suffering you have upon other souls. It does not matter if you remember creating that suffering for them or not. It doesn't matter. Okay? It doesn't. Either your ancestors made the mistake or you did it a previous time. Regardless, you take responsibility. You offer forgiveness. Yeah, but they did this to me and they did this to me and they did this to me and they're not right. Okay? How's it feel sitting behind your steel cage, your prison cell, rattling the cage, going, they did this to me? How's that, how's that worked for you so far? Has it helped? Has it done anything to release you of your suffering? What? No? Oh, maybe you should try something different. The wisdom is open the cage. I recognize that this person that had hurt me this life, this boss, this coworker, this person that stole money from me, I recognize now that everything happens for a reason. I take responsibility. It's highly possible that I harmed this coworker, this boss in previous times. I could have been the boss and I could have been talking down to them like they talked down to me. I could have uh, not allowed them to be promoted like they have not allowed me to be promoted. What if it's a relationship? I could have been the one that divorced them and walked away from them and cheated on them before they did it all to me. This is the wider perspective, the more spiritually enlightened perspective that allows a person to move from suffering to awakening, from suffering to not suffering. And you can't just do it once. You have to do it again and again and again until the suffering dissipates and goes away because heaven watches everything heaven didn't deliver this to you you delivered it to you heaven's just the middleman that, that brings about the law of cause and effect you know the law was created billions and trillions and billions and trillions and trillions of billions of years ago it was there before you got here it'll be there after you leave the law of cause and effect says you know, what has been done unto others returns unto you, including all the positive things. So when you offer deep and uh, effective forgiveness, heaven sees that. They say, ah, oh, my beautiful son, my beautiful daughter, recognizes the mistake they have made. And then all the beings of light are sent to those souls that you may have harmed. And these beings of light say, please forgive. Please forgive Paul for his mistakes. Please forgive Becky, uh, you know, Tammy, whatever the names are. Please forgive this person for their mistakes. They have learned their lessons now. The souls forgive. The financial restrictions remove. Or if it's a husband you constantly have problems with, a lover or something like that. All of a sudden, the relationship starts improving dramatically because you go into a deep, open-hearted space. Of forgiveness you ask forgiveness you offer forgiveness how let's do this welcome Victor welcome Wagner welcome Anthony uh, Aloha joy home welcome Ashley welcome Leah welcome Mark and anyone else whose name I missed welcome so I'm gonna walk you through a representative example I want you to choose one area of suffering in your life one not more than one it's hard to do more than one just choose one could be finances could be a singular person it could be an ex it could be um, a boss it could be a health condition choose a health condition if you got a serious one and I'm gonna walk you through a good deep forgiveness practice okay <clears throat> so there's four simple ways to get the most out of a forgiveness practice which is the four powers where you put your hands what you visualize what you're chanting the mantra in this case we're going to chant divine forgiveness <clears throat> and soul power 
body power, sound power, mind power. Mind power is visualization. Body power is where you place your hands. Uh, sound power is the mantra we're chanting, divine forgiveness. Soul power, most important. All of you uh, might have been thinking as I'm explaining this, you mean I got to go to my boss and say forgive me? No way. You mean I got to go to my ex and say forgive me? No way. Good, I don't want you to do that. The highest wisdom is to do it from the level of soul. All souls want for, for this heaviness to be gone, okay? Trust me when I say the soul of that person you're not getting along with is not happy that you're not getting along with the personality of that person because the soul and the personality are two different things. You have a soul and you might be uh, Becky and they have a soul and they might be Joe. Becky and Joe are not the same as the soul. Because the souls keep going, keep going, keep going. Becky and Joe die in 100 years. So the souls don't want the argument. Trust me when I tell you, the souls don't want the separation. So you deal with everything at the level of soul. Welcome, Magdalena. Welcome, Victor. When you deal with things at the level of soul, you can, get, you can move mountains so much faster. How do you do that? Soul power, the fourth of the soul powers. We call in the souls. Which souls do we call? We call the souls of the one or those who we have forgiveness with. If you have a health condition like a cancer, you're the soul of all of those who, uh, who I or my ancestors may have created the conditions of cancer with. That's an example. What if you have anxiety? You're the soul of all those in all lifetimes I may have caused a condition of anxiety with. Okay. Uh, what if you have a financial problem? You're the soul of all those... I and my ancestors may have ever created financial problems with. This is how you call those souls. Get it? Okay. We also call the souls of all the beings of light. Why? Because when we ask Jesus to come, Mother Mary, Buddha, Krishna, all the angels, healing angels, archangels, when we ask them to come, not all of them come, but many of them come. Why? Because their heart is to serve. They will shower their love and light and assist the process to more easily and effectively uh, clear the blockages. <clears throat> so let's do this, shall we? You can place your hands either in prayer position or we drop the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand points towards heavens. Close your eyes and let us connect. I will walk you through the connection process. You can repeat after me if it's comfortable. Dear my beloved divine creator, dear my soul, dear my heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints. You all have a heaven's team. My name is, state your name three times, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. And from my heart, I ask your presence at this time to assist me with this forgiveness practice. Dear all of the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Lamas, Gurus, Sifus, saints, and more serving the plan of the light side, I love you all, honor and appreciate you all. And I invite you to join this practice today to serve in whatever way is most appropriate. I'm very grateful. Thank you. <clears throat> and we align. We ask them to come. Next, continue to repeat if comfortable. Dear all the souls, choose your one condition. Okay, maybe it's health, maybe it's finances, just choose one relationship. Dear the soul or souls of, and then state their names. Okay, all those I have harmed, all those that may have been harmed for the condition of, da 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 da. Dear the soul of my ex, da 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 da. You state it. Could you please come? Their soul is in front of you. Third eye is open, you'll see it. Their soul is wondering, why am I here? Connect with them. I love you. Really go into the love. I truly, truly love you. I wish from the bottom of my heart to sincerely apologize I now recognize the suffering that I have experienced 
I may have also caused upon others in a time I do not recognize or remember. I would not wish the suffering I have experienced upon anyone. I would not wish it upon you. I would not wish this upon anyone. It is truly unpleasant. But I recognize the simple law of cause and effect. And I no longer wish to be ignorant of this. I recognize now that my suffering may have been experienced by you and possibly many, many more people. And it makes me very sad that I may have made some very unpleasant mistakes. If I have done anything that has caused you to suffer, harming you, taking advantage of you, cheating, stealing, killing, if I have spoken to you derogatorily, lack of respect, lack of honoring, if I have harmed you financially, emotionally, spiritually, you have to do a forgiveness specific to what you're suffering. I'm, it's hard for me to cover all of them. I'm going to be quiet for uh, a minute or two. I want you to go deep. Ask forgiveness. For the specific condition of its finances really go deep if it's relationship go deep what are you suffering ask forgiveness for causing that same suffering upon them do it now And now we offer forgiveness. Think of these souls. Think of all the souls that might have caused this condition upon you. Sometimes we point the finger at them. Dear the soul of or the souls of all those that may have brought this condition to me. I forgive you. I now recognize I may have initiated the suffering that now plagues me of course I don't see it I don't recognize how I could have done that but I recognize the law of cause and effect and if I did do these things to you first if I brought these unpleasant conditions to anyone first then there simply is no excuse it's not okay to bring this kind of suffering to anyone and I want all of these souls to know that I have learned my lessons. I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, apologize my mistakes that may have caused anyone to suffer in the same ways that I have suffered. I deeply, deeply regret these errors. I wish for all of us to move forward in love and peace and harmony. I wish to be forgiven for my mistakes and I wish to forgive all of you for the mistakes that you might have done to bring suffering to me. Let us move forward in love, peace and harmony. So now we will chant divine forgiveness and I want you to visualize one or many souls, whoever is specific to your condition, one or many souls, receiving huge amounts of light and love. Open your heart, send love open your heart receive love you are literally all of us are surrounded by thousands of souls literally all beings of light are surrounding all of us open your heart to give love and to receive love give forgiveness and receive forgiveness as we chant the words divine forgiveness visualize the light being expanded and expressed in this manner 
I will boost all of the blessings. I ask all my forgiveness treasures to turn on to subdivide, who offer forgiveness blessings to all of those watching this uh, live stream and recording as appropriate. Blessing begin. <clears throat> Let us chant. Divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine divine forgiveness divine forgiveness divine forgiveness open your heart give love give forgiveness and receive divine forgiveness divine forgiveness divine forgiveness divine forgiveness divine forgiveness divine forgiveness Divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, <clears throat> divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. Divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. There's another mantra that Master Shah says. Sing with me. I forgive you, you forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Visualize that. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you. You forgive me, bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you, you forgive me, bring love, Peace and harmony. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace and harmony. Offer your forgiveness to all souls for that one specific request you've made. Receive their forgiveness. Give forgiveness to those that have harmed you. Open your heart. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you, you forgive me, <clears throat> bring love, peace and harmony, I forgive you, 
you forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. Three more times. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. I forgive you, you forgive me, bring love, peace and harmony, I forgive you, you forgive Give me, bring love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With our heads gently bowed, offer your gratitude to all the souls who have forgiven you. There could be countless souls that have forgiven you today because of the depth of your forgiveness. There could be the one soul that's important that has forgiven you. And when you reconnect to that one soul, you might notice a significant difference in the communication. If there is not a noticeable difference, then you need to do more forgiveness practice. Offer your gratitude to all those who have forgiven you. And receive the gratitude from all those who have offered you forgiveness and forgiven you. It goes both ways. Receive the gratitude for those that have accepted your forgiveness. They are so grateful that you have forgiven them. They may have been held on their soul journey because you did not let go they are so grateful let's offer our gratitude to all the beings of light who offered their service as well thank you thank you thank you okay so for those of you that came in late in the middle of the chanting uh, do uh, go back and watch as close to the beginning as possible because I go into about 20 minutes of a good and thorough explanation of a deep forgiveness practice what is it why is it important how do you do it uh, definitely you would have felt a difference uh, no matter what and when you came in but there is a lot of value in understanding it because in the understanding <clears throat> and then in witnessing the practice you can apply it every day the biggest mistake people make is the lack of applying this every day lack of application if you simply find a way to fit 10 minutes into your daily schedule where you look, okay, where am I suffering? Do deep forgiveness for that area of suffering. Really be authentic. Ask the beings of light to come. Ask for and offer forgiveness both. Authentic, authentic, authentic. It's not the length of time, it's the quality of the time. You do that consistently, and whatever area of suffering you're in, things will improve. Conditions will come to you where things will improve. Just be consistent, okay? So, uh, welcome Carolyn Reiser, Penny Robinson, you're very welcome. Welcome Maya, Karina, uh, Yvonne, Allison, thank you all for joining. Don, uh, Angie Taylor, welcome Kristen. Um, I'm hearing some people saying they're going to watch again. Very powerful. That's wonderful. You know, these are Master Shaw's wisdoms. These are Master Shaw's teachings. We're just delivering in a way where we can apply it practically. <clears throat> so, join me on Thursday. I'll be back, 9 a.m. Hawaii time, that's three hours earlier than when this one started. And then also on Sundays, uh, we serve those with the condition of cancer by singing love, peace, and harmony. I look forward to serving all of you. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All souls respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye-bye, everybody. See you next time.